M2? No. M1 times 2? Yes. Tim Apple. Ted Studio. Ted Lasso. Apple Studios. And now, Mac Studio. Hell yes. Studio Display? Too small. Final Cut Studio? Mmm, no. But holy crap, love the event, Timmy. Timmy! Apple's Ultra Vent just wrapped up and oh my god, goodness, this is fudge and incredible. Go, Timmy, go! Apple is walking on water with Apple Silicon and the four M1 variants of the apocalypse. And we're not stopping there. Lord, put your mask back on and let's unpack this packed event. The performance, the speed, the style. This is the most innovative product release Apple has ever introduced. No, not that. No, not that. Thank you, next. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Sorry. Hi, this is Rick. Welcome to VidTech with Rick. M1 Ultra is a game changer. But do we really need all this power, mummy? 20 core CPU, 16 performance cores, four efficiency cores, up to 64 cores of GPU, and up to 128 gigabytes of unified memory. Oh my god, I know. I mean, this thing is a beast. Oh no, uh, no, uh, no, this thing is a, a beast, mister. Who does Apple think they are? And who is this for anyway? Nerds! What is a nerd? With just one more product to go Mac Pro. Wait, what? There is still going to be a Mac Pro with even more power? Jesus, jeez Louise. But many, many YouTubers compared M1 Pro to M1 Max and came to conclusion that M1 Max was overkill. It's just overkill. So will the M1 Ultra be uber overkill? All right, so obviously we're fanboying like crazy. <laughs> Come on, Max Tech, figure this out. Yet there are some users who want even more. Now let's talk about that sweet, sweet Jumbo Mac Mini. Uh, extra large Mini Mac. The Mac Studio. Oh, yes, I miss the liking power rush. <laughs> up to 128 gigabytes of memory, up to eight terabytes of super fast storage. Eight ports, as in eight places to stick my thingies. Is there finally enough ports? Six Thunderbolt ports and two USB. I still use this in 2022 A ports. HDMI, 10 gig Ethernet, headphone jacks are still hanging on. Oh, and let's not forget the SDXC. I also use this in 2022 card slot. Wait, UHS 2? Why not UHS 3? What's the problem, Tim? Well, we can't win it all. I mean, <laughs> we can't win it all. <laughs> Studio display! Guys, Apple figured out how to add a camera to a display without a notch. And there's not a problem on this display, except the 27 inches part. It's uh, too small. Oh, need bigger, 30 or 32 piece. Wait a minute, 5K retina display, selfie camera, awesome speakers, cool adjustable and thankfully included stand. Wait just a gosh darn minute, that's an iMac. Maybe even an iMac Pro that Apple can't figure out how to stick that fat computer part into the super skinny display. It's a separated iMac. I split Pro. Oh, who cares? I love this thing, call it whatever you want. I'm buying it except for, oh Lord have mercy. Can we talk? The $4,000 part? Ooh, plus the $1,600 part? Oh my God. That's a $5,600 iMac. Pro? But it's not an iMac Pro. It's a, it's a split. A, a hybrid monstrosity of overpriciness. They had to split it so we wouldn't notice. I see you, Apple. I see you. Oh, I'm spent. This is Apple's most powerful Mac ever. There is nothing it can't do. Oh, I except game. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Please like and subscribe to VidTech with Rick for more ultra fun videos and I'll see you in the next one.